What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as a D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow, we are talking about date and time actions, and we're going to go through the current time action in Microsoft Flow. So Microsoft Flow has various date and time actions that you can use. Uh, I'm going to be showing them over the next series of videos, and today we're going to look at the current time action. So I'm in Microsoft Flow now. Uh, this is just a manual flow that we're triggering. I'm going to click on new step. I'm going to go to built in, date and time, and then I'm going to choose current time down here. Now immediately you'll just see that there is this mesh that says no additional information is needed for this step. You'll be able to use the outputs in subsequent steps. So that means that this action just goes off and gets the current time. There's nothing else you need to configure, nothing else you need to do, but you can use that output to do something in a subsequent step if you want. But how does it look? Let's take a look first. So we'll go open test. We'll choose I'll perform the action. Click test. Click run flow. Say run. So current time. So the inputs, we don't have any inputs, but the outputs it's gone off and it's given us back this date and time here. So it's saying it is currently the uh, 6th of October. Uh, I'm in the UK and this is all formatted in UTC, which does sort of month, uh, sort of day, month, year. And then the time is then 13.05.38 with all these seconds at the end, Zulu at the end. Um, now, one thing to note about this is that this is UTC. So all time in flow is calculated in UTC. So I'm currently in the UK. The UK are in uh, British summertime at the moment, which means we are an hour ahead of UTC. So in the UK it's actually uh, two o'clock uh, and it's not one o'clock. So this is very important to know when you are using times in Microsoft Flow. So if you want to get um, your current time, you may need to do some um, some sort of um, converting to time zone, which I'll show you in a later video. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, please like and share with a friend. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.